Good morning, T. This is. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a long podcast today. This is my first marathon stretch session. If you care to join me for it, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I'm just doing what feels good. Oh, none of it feels good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that hurts so bad. But yeah, marathon was yesterday. Oh. Struggling to walk today, I'm not going to lie. As you've probably just seen, as I've entered the shot, looking like I've shit myself. Oh. I'll tell you what, it's the calves. And I can really feel at the moment, down here, that's really hurting at the moment. But yeah, so, so happy that I did it. So chuffed. It was, oh. I don't know if London is notoriously a difficult route, but it felt so difficult. There's so many hills and the rain didn't help. I don't like running the rain. I'm stretching out those calves. Warming them up a bit. I've got to walk to work in a minute, so. Oh. Just warming them up. Oh. One thing as well if you're going to do something that's longer than 10k, make sure your trainers fit. Mine were too small and I think I've damaged my nail. in that leg underneath. Oh, I'm still quite emotional but it's all over. I think once I'd realised that I wasn't going to get my PB, I just wanted to cross the line. I just wanted it to be finished. It was so difficult. I think I could have pushed harder at the end but I didn't want to hurt myself more. There was people around me vomiting. There was people collapsing. There was people stretching on the side of the road. And I just thought, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to cross the line in one piece. I was just like, oh. And I'm still having to miss like the... Oh.
Feel that stretch in your glute. I'm just making this up as I go, so it feels nice. from him saying, Louise, let me know if you need the day off. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I will be there. I might be crippled, but I will be there. <laughs> small guys. Top tip. Top tip. And pray that it doesn't rain on the day. Telling me that the most painful place is in a glute that I've never had an issue with before. Oh. Let's stretch that for a bit more. Also, my back hurts. Honestly, everything hurts. <laughs> my arms, I could probably do an upper body day, but I thought I'd get to hold off. Also, really bad chafing occurs, so make sure you're Vaseline'd up. I, wasn't, I did not apply enough Vaseline. 
my top tips for Vaseline applications. In the eyebrows, yes. In the eyebrows to stop your sweat slash the rain dripping into your eyes. Works an absolute treat. You look a little bit weird at the start, but don't care. Also, nipples. Get Vaseline on your nipples as you want them to bleed. So many people us yesterday with blood through their tops, that was gross. And in a thigh, in a thigh. Thought I'd done it, it's clearly not enough. I did change my shorts last minute though, which might have had something to do with it. Different positioning of the shorts. Might have been an error. I can run you through, shall I run you through my eating strategy? Oh no, to be fair, that's literally a I didn't really have an eating strategy, I don't think. I just didn't want to vomit like a few people on the side of the road that was so disgusting to listen to and watch. And the reason why people vomit while doing a marathon is because they don't rehydrate properly. So they'll have loads of the gels and then have loads of the Lucas Aid Sport that they give out and not rehydrate so you, your body doesn't know what to do with all those carbs so you just vomit it all back up. Which is so disgusting. So many people chundered halfway around. It was really gross. So top tip, just make sure you stay hydrated. I took water from every single water station. Um, I had three gels, one at 10k, one at 20k, one at 30k. Could have probably had one more, which might have helped push through for the last bit, but again, I didn't want to vomit. I only had two last year, so I didn't really know the strategy behind it all. But. Thing is with the Lucas Ale Sport cups that they give out, they give you it in a paper cup and then expect you to try and run. And I just loved it all in my eye, and it was orange and sticky and that disgusting. Oh, oh god, that feels tight. Aha. Ah. food wise so before morning of marathon I had oh, morning of the marathon I had 80 grams of oats with a scoop of protein powder in which people would probably say you don't need that but I like having my protein obviously I know I digest it well so I didn't, want, I didn't want to throw too many new things off. So protein powder, full banana, um, probably about 
80 grams worth of dirt. I had a load of dirt. Uh, 200 grams of dirt within the, the two days before, as in like Saturday and Sunday, I got through 200 grams worth of dirt. That was quite amazing. Oh, that feels nice. Um, what else was on it? Some raspberries, some blueberries, a couple of spoonfuls of ski yogurt. Yeah, flesh. By the way guys, I'm only using this band because I can't, the, the, the pain is too much for me to reach my actual leg. So if you've got one of these, that's fine. If you've got like a little booty band you want to use, that's fine. You might just be watching it and not actually doing it, which is absolutely fine as well. Just seeing what I'm up to. That's okay. And then also what I ate before was a little pouch of baby food <laughs> and, no and another full banana and then obviously plenty of water. I had a hydration salt thing. Oh. How long have I been I think I've been going way too long. I need to go to work. Um. Right, let's do a quick quad stretch. I might do Should I do this one? Oh no, my big toe hurts. What's that? was to start filming work box again tomorrow so you might have to start with upper body. Definitely not starting with leg did it. <laughs> about how the marathon went. Get it in the check-in, I'll answer them in the Q&A. Or comment on the video. Happy to, ah, uh, happy to answer them in the comments. Or DM me. Burger and chips today, I think. Oh, actually, maybe not the chips, but fancy chips. Not a big burger would be good. Oh, thank 
goes. I don't know why. I'm, <laughs> I prefer my water for when I got really sweaty. <laughs> oh, can I walk a bit better now? Oh. Yes, I'm ready to walk to work now. Fantastic. See you tomorrow.